In today's video, I want to show you a very easy keyword research method using Publisher Rocket. Hello, home bosses. My name is Maria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And one of the ways I make money online is by publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. And uh, last year I didn't publish many low content books. I think I published about two children's books and that was it. And I talked about this in previous videos and I told you all that this year I was going to try and publish more books because my biggest income from all my income streams is still Amazon KDP and I really need to step up my game and publish more books on Amazon. I'm very happy with the income I created last year which was totally passive income because like I said I didn't produce any more new books but I really need to step it up this year and produce more books. And I've already started and while I was using Publisher Rocket to help me, which is one of the tools that I use, I noticed that there have been a few changes, a few updates, and they're really exciting updates. I find Publisher Rocket has improved and I'm really happy to promote it. I don't promote many tools and I always tell you that you don't need any tools necessarily for this business. But some of the tools are just helpful in that they save you a lot of time and Publisher Rocket is one of them. And also it gives me a lot of ideas that I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't used Publisher Rocket. So I hope you enjoy this video. Take a look and I show you what the updates are for this tool. So this is Publisher Rocket. I will leave a link below the video to show you where you can get Publisher Rocket. And uh, what I like about it is that not only does it research the US market, but you can also research the UK and the German market. And my books mainly sell in the UK, even though I research on the USA market. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to do your research in the main market, which is the USA. And then if you need more information, you can then also research in other markets if you want to target them in particular. I don't necessarily target any markets. I just do my research in the USA market and I publish in all markets. My primary market is the USA, but I do make more sales in the UK. And that could just be a coincidence. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me where my sales come from, but it's an interesting fact and uh, you could research in either of those markets. Let's start and see how I would research. I mainly use this tab for keyword search, so let's click on that. And here is one of the new updates already. Before this update, we could choose between books and ebooks, and now there are all formats, Kindle only and Audible only. So if you're making audiobooks, this has become a, a really good function for you. And also if you produce ebooks, it's very different to paperbacks or hardcovers. So we're going to choose all formats and uh, let's type in a keyword. Let's type in an idea. Say, for example, you want to make a gratitude journal. Now, I can tell you now that gratitude journal is a very broad term. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of gratitude journals and I expect there to be a lot of competition for this keyword. We'll see in a minute if that's correct. But can you see we haven't really niched down? And this is why I like Publisher Rocket so much, because we can take a broad term like gratitude journal, type it into the search box, and now we're going to get some ideas. So I click on this and it takes a little while for all the information to load. So now we have all the keywords that are related to gratitude journal, but now we need to tell Publisher Rocket to analyze them. So I'm just going to click on all of these. So as you can see, I've clicked on a lot of them because I want to analyze as many keywords as possible. And let's have a quick look. So the first keyword we typed in was gratitude journal. And I told you that this is a very broad term, a very broad keyword. There are probably so many results. You can see here, this is a new update that Publisher Rocket has made we can now get the competitive score 
and the estimated Amazon searches per month. And they have now color coded them as well. So this is an improved function and it really helps a lot because straight away you can see that it's a very um, popular keyword. So a lot of people are searching for gratitude journal. You can see this has a search an estimated search of 6,682, which is very high. It's also green. So that means that there is a great number of searches so that there's a lot of demand for gratitude journals. But the competitive score is telling us that it's very, very competitive. So we only need to really look at these two columns here without having to look at these to know what's going on here. So we know that there is a lot of competition. And, and I knew that because gratitude journal is a very generic term and we really need to niche down. So how can we niche down? We're getting some more keywords here. Blessed a gratitude journal for black women. Now that is very specific. So because it's very specific, there aren't really enough searches. So it's less than a hundred per month. This is why it's in red. So you really want a green color here to, to let you know to go ahead with it. But what about the competitive score? The competitive score is in yellow. So that means that it's moderately competitive. So let's try and get a better keyword for this. Daily Gratitude Journal. Now, the number of searches is a little bit better. It says it's reasonable, but again, very competitive. So we really don't want to use this keyword. So if I wanted to make a Gratitude Journal, I want to look here and see what should I call my Gratitude Journal? How can I niche down on this Gratitude Journal? I really want to make a Gratitude Journal, but I want to make one that people are going to find easily. And that's what keywords are all about. You want your books to be found by your buyers. And that's why we're looking for these keywords to see which ones we can use to have the best chance of selling our book. And uh, you can see here, if I look down, there are some green um, estimated searches. So we know these are very popular. Gratitude journal for kids, for men, for teens, for women. So they are niched down, but we need to find one that has low competition. And out of all of these four, um, the gratitude journal for teens has the best competitive score because it says it's moderately competitive. So I could try and make a gratitude journal for teens and use these keywords to to rank higher and for people to find my book. So what you need to do is if you decide to make this kind of book, you then do a little bit more research, look at these other figures. But now we have already established that Gratitude Journal for Teens would be a good niche to use. What else can we find out? Let's have a little look. So Gratitude Journal for Women 2022, not so great. These ones have a really good competitive score. They're telling us there is very low competition, but people are not looking for them. So it's really not worth making this kind of book. There's one here that's good. Gratitude Journal and Planner, 536 searches per month, which is not bad. And the competitive score is OK. So this is another one that we can consider making. Let's look at some more results. Um, we really want both of these columns to be positive for us. And so far we haven't found any more. Let's try some more. So just keep clicking and researching. Um, there seem to be a lot of gratitude journals on Amazon, but of course not all of them will be profitable. So we need to find the ones that are less competitive. And look at this, we've got one that has two green scores here. So gratitude journal hardcover. This is interesting. So there are people looking for gratitude journals that are um, a hardcover version and uh, you get 577 search results a month and the competitive score is really low. What's really interesting is look at the difference in spelling. So that's really interesting. But it tells me that this is definitely something that I need to look into. I need to explore this a bit more. Don't just go and make a, a gratitude journal with a hardcover. Look into it a little bit more. Look into 
which of those niches were good and um and then you can tailor your gratitude journal a little bit more towards that so don't just go by the scores that this gives you do more research once you have these ideas but like i said this is brilliant for ideas i love how quickly i can find books to make that have got a chance of selling let's just click on a few more as we get quite a lot more suggestions here so let's take advantage of that and there's another one here gratitude journal joy so the search results are not great but they're reasonable and there's very low competition so this is again something we could consider there's another one here which has two green scores gratitude journal kids 8 to 12 <laughs> that's got a reasonable result in the searches and very low competition so this is another one so just by typing in gratitude journal you have already discovered so many ideas for your gratitude journal so many books that you can consider making now none of this is a guarantee i'm not saying that by making these books you're going to have guaranteed sales of course that's not the case but you want to maximize your um, possibilities of making sales and this is a really good way of doing that here is another one gratitude journal notebook for girls so that's got a, a reasonably good result in the searches and low competition so we can just go on and you can see how to do it now you just need to keep clicking so you just need to find the ones that have good results in the search volume and in the competitive score. There's another one here, Gratitude Journal Notebook for Women. So you need to look into this a little bit more. Why is this one better than just Gratitude Journal for Women, for example? So you just dive in a little bit deeper into your research and look to see why that is. But like I said, you can get so many ideas from Publisher Rocket. So I think this is a really good tool to guide you in the right direction. You still need to do more research, but it's giving you a really good idea about competitiveness, about if there is demand, because if your book hasn't got any demand, if people are not looking for your book, then you're not going to sell your book. So you need to find books that people are looking for. And this is going to help because it tells you not only the amount of searches, but also whether it's in a competitive niche or not. So this is the way I do my research when I want to have quick ideas. And it saves me a lot of time to do it this way. As you can see, we have already found some books that we could create with a good chance of getting some sales. So I hope you found that interesting. This is how I research my keywords when I use Publisher Rocket. There are different ways of researching your keywords. I find this the quickest and the most helpful way to do it. And I've had a lot of really good ideas from using this tool with books that are doing very well for me now. There are other tools that you can use. This is the one that I use and I like to promote the tools that I personally use as well so that you know the kind of results that you could get from using one of the tools. So I hope you enjoyed it. I leave you with a video that I made a little while ago about Publisher Rocket that goes into more detail about keyword research and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.